yeah, fellas, I'm looking at a uh, article put out by a, um, a black channel. I'm not going to release the channel because I don't want uh, these big men going around trying to troll that Facebook channel. Actually, it would be good because then we find out who these guys are. But no, nah, I'm going to leave them their privacy. But they have an article on African descendants in Panama, Afro-Panamanians. Now, this has nothing to do with the game. It's part of the African history that I like to talk about and teach to my African Americans who are interested in this. There are some African Americans I just want to learn to fuck. That's fine. We'll get to that at its own time. But for you guys who enjoy the African history, let's talk about this for a moment. Uh, these people write, Afro-Panamanians are Panamanians of African descent. Afri Afro-Panamanians are 15% of the population, and it is estimated 50% of the Panamanians have African ancestry. The Afro-Panamanian population can be broken into the Afro-colonial, comma, Afro-Panamanians descended from slaves, brought to the Panama or put to Panama during the colonial period and the Afro Antillian West Indian immigrants from Trinidad, Barbados, Martinique, and Jamaica brought in to build the Panama Canal. And we all know about the Panama Canal. Afro Panamanians can be found in towns and cities, Cologne, I'm not sure how to pronounce that with the little accent on it, but I believe that's it. Crystal Ball, uh, Balboa, Rio Abejo, because I believe it's Spanish, Abejo, uh, area of Panama City, and uh, Canal Zone, the province of Bocas de Toro. Although many Panamanians like to think they're Hispanic, they are not considered true Hispanics, and I disagree with that. Um, and this actually comes from that Tommy Sotomayor, who says he's Hispanic because there are black Hispanics, there are pale Hispanics, there are tan Hispanics, there are Asian Hispanics. It's people who are raised in the, in the Latin culture and speak the language. Okay, it's not just for, for light-skinned people to be calling themselves Hispanics because in Mexico we have black Mexicans, we do have Asian Mexicans, we do have, you know, the native descent uh, Mexicans. We have the mixture between the Spaniards and the natives. Okay. We uh, have mixtures of all of the above that I mentioned, Mexicans. And that's something I had to learn the hard way also. When I began to see Mexicans with like, I could tell they had African ancestry. So I went to find out and I learned about someone like people like Yanga, who helped uh, Mexico get their freedom from Spain. You know, he fought the Spaniards. He was an escaped slave. And uh, they've got a, t a village that's devoted to him, that's dedicated after him, with a statue in it. A lot of Mexicans don't even know their own history. But that's why I like to put history out there, okay? When you learn history, it makes you more of a cultured kind of person. So when you start talking to girls, you can share knowledge, show that, you know, how much knowledge you have. Kind of way of showing off that you're better than she is. Cause she may got the hot ass, but you know what? I've got knowledge. That's where it fits into the game. He, he, this person writes, the history of the descendants of African peoples in Panama is not only the story of the first persons of African origin in modern times to arrive on the mainland of the Americas, but also the story of a community that has struggled to obtain basic civil rights. Just as in Costa Rica, Panama and the Canal Zone had at one time an official policy of racial discrimination against citizens of African descent. That's why a lot of Panamanians do not like to identify with being black. It's like what they learn from their parents, the ones in this country. They learn that from their parents because that's what was pushed in those countries. Also the same as in other uh, countries around in that same area, like Colombia. Uh, black Colombians, they don't want to be called no part of black. They want to be called something else. In 1496, Columbus brother, Columbus's brother, Bartholomew, established the first permanent European settlement in the Americas at Santo Domingo, Hispaniola. By 1501, Rodrigo de Bastidas had explored the Caribbean coastline of Central America and became the first European to set foot on what is 
today Panama. The following year, Columbus attempted to establish a colony here, but it was it did not survive a series of native attacks and was abandoned within a year. Good. It was not until 1509 that the first permanent European outpost on the mainland of the Americas, this Americas, became permanently established when Diego de, I cannot say his name, uh, founded Nombre, that means number, de Dios, Number number two? No, that's uno dos. I don't. Maybe it's a, someone's name at the mouth of Rio Chagres, Chagres. Uh, that same year on the Gulf of Uraba, Uraba. I don't know. I I cannot do the uh, Spanish pronunciation of these. I do apologize. I'm not Spanish, nor do I uh, no hablo español. Seen fala portugués un poco in what is now Colombia. Another settlement was founded and given the name of San Sebastian de Uraba, Uraba by its original founder, Alonso de Ojira. This settlement was moved by Balboa to the eastern coast of Panama and renamed Santa Maria la Antigua. De Damn, it's a long name. Del Darien? In 1519, Santa Maria was relocated to the other side of Isthmus and renamed Panama, the forerunner of today's Panama City. And I guess that's a Panamanian of African descent. Interesting, but I disagree with them about the Hispanic because I've learned uh, you could, it's like if you're, let's say you're, you're a, a black person born in France, you're a black French person, okay? I'm a black American or African American. Uh, I'm an American. I'm in the American culture. If you're born in Hispanic culture, you're Hispanic. Uh, the people in these countries, you know, many of them, like I said, 50% do have African ancestry. So that makes them other. It doesn't make them direct descendants of Spain. They got it black parent, grandparents. Like a lot of the uh, Mexicans don't realize they had, like, might have a, a black great-grandparent. Doesn't make them less Mexican, though. They're still Hispanic. That's my feeling. What do you think?